Next up on Phoenix Rain. You were driving, of course you killed her. We said we'd never speak of it again. Unspeakable. We're different. She's Beth Marie, I'm Mary Beth. It's about Louise, isn't it? I'm Betty Farquhar. Let them talk. Don't you want to get back to the greater good? I want to be number one for myself. Dad, I have to tell you something. Which one do you choose, Doctor? Ha, ah, it's a clear choice. This one right here is strong and bold, just like me. So, so aggressive. It's masculine. It says who we are as a, as a company. This one is tender and genteel. So have you boys made a decision yet? This is the one I like. I don't know with this man, this doctor. <sighs> Doctor, you're infuriating. Scarlet, where where are my balls? Where where are my balls? I believe you left them back on a battlefield in Kuwait. Very funny, but you know that's just a rumor. I'm talking about my relaxation okay. balls. Doctor, here they are. Oh, they were right in front of me the whole time. Can we please get back Thank to you. work? Well, this is nice. It's Nasty Bill Billings. Notes passed by a shady detective. It's about Louise, isn't it? She's dead, Colonel. Oh, oh thank you. It, it's, this is just a Victoria's Secret catalog. I'd like to get it hand-delivered. I don't believe in electronic mail. I believe in cold, hard paper. You two men run a multi-million dollar cattle business. And you can't even decide on one brand? How in the name of G-O-D do you get anything done? I, I know what I'm doing all the time, and I'm right. Why are you even partners? He, he saved, saved my, my life. life. Damn, that was a giant explosion right over our heads. There's just dead bodies everywhere. We're the only ones left. We're in the bunker, we're the only ones left, and it's war. I didn't sign up for this, I'm a medic. Well, you technically did sign up. You yeah. sign up, we're enlisted men. Oh, look, look, look. I will do everything in my power to save you. Do you swear to save me too? Yes, I swear to save you. We're, we're brothers. brothers. We're brothers, I know. We've brothers in arms. We've known each other forever. Put it on a pinky, just like old times. We have a bond, it's deep. It's deeper than meat. If you want to pick oh, Nasty Bill Billings. It's about Louise, isn't it? She's dead, Colonel. Oh. Well. <laughs> Very nice. That says, and she's not dead. They never found her body. It's a Victoria's Secret catalog, I tell you. And this is. It's a food menu. It's a Japanese food menu. You're crazy. No sushi menu is that small. You know the technology where you go to the fair and they say, get your name on a grain of rice. This is the same technology. Colonel, I know it's hard to hear, but she died in that car crash. You were driving. Of course you killed her. You killed, you're a killer of love. 
It was an accident. Enough! I am sick and tired of listening to the two of you bicker and fight. Colonel, I am truly sorry about your wife. And doctor, I'm sure this is extremely painful for you as well, but we have got to move on. You are both rich and successful without a financial worry in the world. It wasn't supposed to be this way for me. I had a full ride scholarship to college. They were looking at me for an Olympic track team. The world was my oyster. And that's when the incident happened. I chased a man down who stole my handbag and broke both of my legs. And that was that. And now I work for this job with two angry old men. The only happiness that I find is my swing dance classes on Wednesdays and the sweet song stylings of Mr. Kenny Rogers <laughs> and the sweet sage taste of a fine risotto with a pecorino cheese. <laughs> but hey, that was the hand that I was dealt. So I like this one. Good work, morning side. Dad! Dad! I have to tell you something. I just saw Mom. Now, a word from our sponsor. If you're anything like me, you love your independence. Wine country, Friday night discos, sniffing excessive amounts of floor cleaner. I don't have time to think about anything but P-A-R-T-Y-I-N-G. I don't have time to be thinking about B-A-B-I-E-S, babies. That's why I take nah-uh. Hi, I'm Laura Healy, and I play Betty Farquhar on Phoenix Rain. Just like Betty, I'm a strong, independent woman who loves sniffing floor cleaner, but does not like surprises. Nah, ah gives me the confidence to live the floor cleaner sniffing life I choose. Just one pill a day, and I'm ready to take on the world. I won't be hearing the pitter-patter of tiny feet running down the hallway or spending a fortune on expensive toys during Christmas time. What's the fun in that? <sighs> Over the counter, safe and discreet. Try not on today because your body is your playground. I'm out of breath in this bond chase. The more I prayer, the lesser is my grace. Happy is Hermia, wheresoever she lies, for she hath blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright? Not with salt tears. If so, my eyes would be oftener washed than hers. Mary Beth, come on, give her the break. What dost thou mean? I mean, cut out the Shakespeare and help me with my lines. Donnie, I'm in character. Yeah, yeah, I know that you're in character. I know that you're a method actor. It's but for Shakespeare in the park. Ing lot behind the dumpster. I'm a method actor. This is my process. Yeah, I know. I know. This is your process, your method. It's Shakespeare. I know all those things. But let's put that aside and work on my lines. Your play is not for like another month, and this is going to be my big break. At your service, my lord. Though, uh, methinks this lady is, uh, cutting you too much slack. After our previous encounter. Oh, 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 my goddess, please. Forgive my, my past regression because I did not know that she was your kin. I still don't get it. She looks nothing like me. She's a nerd. And a scientist 
we're different. She's Beth Marie. I'm Mary Beth. And that that was strange because even though they they look similar, they could not be distinguished up up by name. I do desire that we'd be better strangers. Okay, okay, look, I'm sorry, all right? It was a mistake. It was dark. I went into the house. You're identical twins, remember? I went into the house. I saw a woman's back, and I just... Please, just forgive my erroneous kiss. You, Gross, stop it, stop it. I forgive you. Let's just do the line. Great, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, the story is... I'm going for man number two, Ice Escape... Eight, it's getting colder. Okay. Yeah? It's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is going to be my big break. All right. Uh, what is it you need help with? I, I need to know how to nail it. How do I just say it? How do I just say it? You know what I mean? How do I nail those words? Donnie, acting's about way more than just nailing the lines. You want to get deeper than that. The onion, peel back the onion. There's no onions in this scene, Mary Beth. It's like in a ski chalet in the mountains. There's, there's no onions. How does your character feel? What traits do you have in common with your character? I want to really get inside man number two. Peel back the onion. Um, what does number two mean for you, Donnie? What it means is it means money and fame. I'll probably move to LA, maybe get a star on Hollywood Boulevard, red carpets, champagne, Vegas, cocktails with a little gold stuff in them. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Watch out! What is it? It's a nice escape. Okay. Really think about who you're talking to. Don't read the lines. Let the lines read you. I don't know what that means, Mary Beth. I don't care what that means, okay? Let me just do the words again. Watch out! What is it? It's a nice escape. What a show! You know, I always said my brother was such a natural performer. Lizzie, to what do we owe the pleasure? Angst, grunge, fest, and we're getting the band back together. <laughs> What are you talking about, Lizzie? It's only the third biggest festival on this side of the Southeast, Donnie. And they want us to play our hit, Yesterday's Tomorrow. Why do they want us to sing that song? First of all, it's 15 years old. And second of all, it's creepy. Yeah, it's totally creepy. It's not creepy. It also is on uh, that show, ICU, Intensive Care Unit. So everyone knows it. All the kids are totally hip to it. No, no, no. It's creepy. It's not creepy. It's pretty creepy. It's not creepy. Yesterday's tomorrow. Tomorrow's yesterday's. So much convolution. But not much else to say. Eh? Anyway, Lizzie, I'm not a singer anymore, okay? I'm an actor now. You had that one dog food commercial, like what, five years ago? Come on. Yeah, but the director said I had something. He looked at me, he said, kid, you've got it. And now Ice Escape 8, it's getting wet, it's getting colder. This is gonna be my big break. This is gonna make me a star. Why do you care about being man number two when you're man number one right here? Think about our parents. I know our parents are dead. They died, they left us this beautiful apartment that we have to share in some almost comical fashion. But look, I'm not gonna be a singer anymore with you, especially since you wrote that weird, creepy song about us. It's not creepy. It is, and also, you are a circus clown, and I am not gonna be singing in a band with a circus clown. Come on, clowning is about giving people enjoyment, having fun, giving back. Don't you wanna give back? Giving back? You know who you sound like? My sister and those nerds at the PACTSC. You know, the people for animals in cages that shouldn't be in cages. You're all the same. Well, the difference between you and your sister is that she's a different person. 
I'm doing this clown thing to give back and for the animals. Don't you want to be part of something bigger than yourself? No. 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 I don't. I want to be number one for myself. And by playing man number two, I'm going to become number one. I'm going to be a star, all right? Ice to skate nine is just around the corner. Okay, look, I have to go and learn my lines. It's two lines, Donnie. Seven words. And how long does that take to memorize? Listen, Beth Marie. It's Mary Beth. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got you guys confused, but you look so similar. I'm sure you get that all the time. Hey, Lizzie, how many kids did you creep out this week with your uh, clown tricks? <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. You know, uh, once Donnie and I get the band back together, we're going to be at top of the charts. And uh, speaking of uh, weird relationships, how's it going with old Willie Shakespeare? You trying to make yourself more unrelatable? Oh, you don't have a clue, do you? I don't care about Shakespeare. All I care about is that idiot in there trying to learn seven words. And when he does, and when he goes to Hollywood, guess who's coming with him? Me. When he's on the red carpet, guess who's on his arm? Me. I'm gonna ride his coattails as far as I can, and you know why? Because he loves me. And he's not doing your uh, stupid concert unless I tell him to. Of course. I should have known you were using him the whole time. You would do something like that. And no one wants to hear a weird sex song about your brother. It's not a weird sex song about my brother. Yesterday's tomorrow. Tomorrow's yesterday. Illusion. Not much help to say. And now a word from our sponsor. Okay, Scott, we're ready for you. Action. Oh, hello there. These guys said action and started rolling, and <laughs> that still caught me off guard. Hi, I'm Scott Brown. You may recognize me as. Dr. Lawrence Weaver, the life-saving cattle rustling doctor on Phoenix Rain. But you know, the good doctor needs a vacation from time to time, and that's when I go to Valkyrie Cruise Lines. Now, Valkyrie is not your ordinary cruise line. No, 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 no. They take you off the beaten trail, and they have special tours in all the Baltic states. You can see the castles of Estonia, the lagoons of Lithuania. You can sit, relax, and sip a glass of Kessielis in Latvia. My personal favorite is the local tour. That's when you go to a local family's house, sit in their living room, and have them point out all their family pictures and describe them in detail. You have no idea what's going on, and they know it. Whatever your style, sit back, relax, and smile and nod. Valkyrie Cruise Lines. Obscurity is our business. Oh, Lorraine, my dear. You've arrived. Please sit down. No. Dear friend, it's so good to see you. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that cold soup? Get it away. Get it away. That soup was made by the devil. Soup should be warm. It warms the heart and brings light from the darkness. That's what my mother said to me when I last saw her when I came here to be cured of the pox. Well, if we're speaking in metaphors, you are my warm soup. <laughs> Before I met you, I was a crazed man, chasing with abandon every crazy carnal desire that this earth could offer. But then you showed me the error of my ways. 
I owe you so much. Yes. Yes, you do. But today is not about that. Today is about those who didn't make it. <sighs> Thank you, Doc. To those we left behind. To the island. To the island. Oh, the things we did. The terrible things we did. We did what we had to do in uh, order to survive. My wretched heart <sighs> breaks. Shh. We swore never to speak of it again. Oh, but I must. I close my eyes and I see it. I close my ears and I can still hear it. It haunts me. Oh, I'll never forget. I'll never forget. <sighs> Please. We said we'd never speak of it again. It was unspeakable. Yes, unspeakable. Remember, no matter what, I will protect you. No. No. We will protect each other. <sighs> Good Lord. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, now, hand about. <laughs> happy things, happy things. Well, let's talk about Ubergeen Lullaby. Oh, yes. Ubergeen Lullaby. What a horse. You know, he was sired by the legendary Rooster Oosters, who in turn was sired by Catapult Larry. There is not a finer horse on the market today. Oh, please be careful, Philip. A little birdie told me that another was interested in Ubergeen. Betty Farquhar. <laughs> I cannot stand that woman. I, I'll never understand why you fueled. <sighs> never you mind. She will never own Ubergeen Lullaby. Not while there is a scintilla of a pulse in my body. Uber Jean Lullaby? Just an egg I was talking to my broker about. Philip? Mm. Lorraine? Now, truth to be told, I do not want to own it myself. But when I heard you were interested, well, I just had to have it. You can take the girl out of Nebraska, but you cannot take the Nebraska out of the girl. As they say in Lincoln, when you want something, you go get it. They say that everywhere. Well, it was invented in Lincoln. Was not. Was too. You will never get your hands on Ubergine Lullaby. I was born to own that horse. And Lorraine is going to whisper her to the Kentucky Derby and the Phoenix Cup. <laughs> Poppy Cock. Oh, Philip! Betty! Betty, please take a seat. Philip, would you be a dear and, and go get us some more drinks? Um, a cosmopolitan, Betty. Oh, yes, please. Mm. With extra Cosmo. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Philip. I will never understand what you have against him, Betty. He, Philip is a lovely man. <laughs> yes, lovely. Oh. So, how are uh, you and the Colonel and Hannah? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Betty. Betty, what's wrong? Oh, it's the Colonel. He's obsessed about his dead wife. I don't know why he can't just accept that she's gone and love me. You know, I've been a mother to that girl. I love her, but I'm scared I'm gonna lose her. Well, things have been going around town that you've been getting very cozy with Raphael. Oh, that's a lie. We sure hold hands, but that's a Maltese thing, an artist thing. Oh, he has a beautiful soul, that man. Hmm. Okay, just be warned. People are talking. I'll let them talk. <laughs> I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. I'm bad if Farquhar. Let them talk. As, if, as we say in Lincoln. Let them talk until the corn comes out of their noses. Do they really say that? Oh, Philip. You know, the waitress keeps staring at me. <laughs> you wish. 
You're an old man. As we say in Lincoln, the old buck yearns for the young buck, but the young buck isn't interested. That's an overly literal and stupid saying. Oh, really? You know what we also say in Lincoln? Petticoats! The waitress is staring at him. And now, a word from our sponsor. It's easy to get backed up. And by backed up, I do mean constipated. That's right. Long days on the set, little time to exercise, eating poorly, drinking half a liter of wet cement. The last time I had a good BM was during the Clinton administration. And by BM, I do mean bowel movement. Hi, my name is Marcus Franklin, and I play Donnie Michaels on the popular TV show Phoenix Rain. But there's nothing popular about constipation. Did you know that 95% of adult Americans will suffer from constipation in their lifetime? Just one glass of Easy Poo and my constipation just melts away. <sighs> Easy Poo is made from natural ingredients. It's government tested, so you know it's safe. Easy Poo can be purchased at any good drugstore and comes in original, vanilla, and now in chocolate swirl. Easy Poo. Because shouldn't your poo be easy? My lady, my sweet, sweet lady, what is wrong? Scarlet, what would I do without you? <laughs> what in heck fire are you doing here? And what kind of horse spur would I be if I body shamed my favorite girl? After all, I had just lost my parents. How could I lose my brother as well? It's just that I have a strange and mysterious past. <gasps> oh, what have I done? Thank you so much for watching. We're Blunderbuzz. If you want to subscribe, click here. Here? Here. Where are they clicking? Here. 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 And if you want to see more, click here. We're actually cooler than this in person. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know. Bye. Socially Bye. awkward. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>